Hi Divas, I have some really pretty diamond paintings to show you. They're newer ones from FG Normal. It is a budget company and uh, from budget companies I mostly get rounds. I happen to find these pictures beautiful. Now I'm not sure if they are licensed to any artists or not. The, the companies themselves out of China do not license their paintings so be careful. I am for paying the artist for their work. I absolutely am. I just don't happen to know. I haven't seen these on any other artist's websites or anything like that to tell you who it might be. All right, so I want to show you this canvas. This is, uh, I don't read don't know the title of it, but it's obviously a hot air balloon, and it's got a peacock and some birds in the the colors of the balloon. It's got these beautiful pink uh, floral trees and other trees and the mountains in the background and a stained glass type of sky. It's got 23 colors, and again, they are round. It is a 40 by 50, and I want to give you a close-up look of, at some of the, so the uh, symbols that you can see in here. They're pretty easy to see. Some of them are a little bit more difficult than others, of course. But that's what I have a light pad and a magnifying glass for. And usually you can give it a good guess <laughs> and it'll be fine. I always write the name of the company most of the time. Um, thank you to those <laughs> who um, they, when they see me doing the diamond painting on the lives, um, live chats with them, that sometimes I forget who the company is when I didn't write it down ahead of time. Thank you to those who subtly remind me. <laughs> when I, I really appreciate that. But <clears throat> this is a number, letter B, 6853. FG Normal is the company, and if you write it at the top of your canvas, you'll never forget it. You can also write it on a slip of paper and put it in with your drill pack so that you know which drills go to which painting if you want to keep these flat and ready to use, which I sometimes do. Uh, you get your basic green boat and uh, plate of wax and your basic pen that comes with everything. Now let's look at the drills on these. They said there are 23 drills on these. Okay, let's go. All right, they would probably be the 310. It does have a DMC color code number. These are the 310s. Um, so you'll see the color code number on the side of the canvas as you do them. Okay, you're just going to get their sequence number and and their kit number on these themselves. You have to look for the DMC code on the actual canvas itself. And when I kit them up, when I put these in their own little baggies, that's what I do. I put a sticker on them, on the baggie that has the DMC number and the, the sequence number, and sometimes the symbol on it as well, so that it's absolutely ready to go. I liked the motif on this one, so. And I'm never going to get these back in the bag the same way I put them out, so let's just do the best we can, shall we? How long? But right now, I'm going to carefully roll them back up and pack them back in. I do that as I keep the picture to the outside, and I particularly keep the thumbnail up. And that's how I can tell what's in the baggie. If I can get it back in the bag. These are acrylic drills, so they're not all the exact same. Um, when they pour them into the molds, acrylic drills do not come out exactly the same. They have more trash in them, but uh, and they're not quite as shiny, they're not quite as faceted. 
but this is a budget company, so this is what we're going with. Here's another beautiful one that looks like stained glass. Not a good sign, but it doesn't want to come out of the back. All right. And again, I'm going to roll it the opposite way just to give it a good... You have your basic boat. All right. Here is a square one. This is a 40-40 square. As you can see, two hummingbirds with these. this um, plant I love. They're called bleeding hearts. I absolutely love them. I'm going to put FG Normal at the top again. Make sure I have that correct. I like the colors, the teals and the pinks together. With a little splash of orange. Very nice. This one comes already kitted up. What do you know? Okay, so you, that way, when you have two different ways that the kits are presented and you purchase them from the same company, you know that's a warehouse, not the company that produces the actual diamond paintings. They have all these, and that's why you see the same pictures on many different, um, at many different diamond painting places. It's because they're warehouses. What they do is they put the pictures up online and if they sell, they call that warehouse and say, do you have some of them or some of them? And you actually get them from different manufacturers, but from one warehouse. So you do have beautiful variety of colors here. I can bring you in just a smidge to see. All right, so you have the the teals and the pinks and some of the oranges. I wonder how they get these in there so beautifully. I can never get them back in the same way. The fuchsias for the bleeding hearts. You have some burgundy in there. Dark, oh, a, a dark turquoise color. Turquoise, teal, however you want to say it. And you have the peaches and the greens and the blues in there too. Yeah. <clears throat> I think if you wanted to trade out some special colors, some sparklers or some AB diamonds, that kind of thing. I think you could easily do them in the iridescence of the birds. That would be one good place to do it. And I would almost stick with the birds because that's your, you could put the th uh, in the throats of them that sometimes really glistening in the wings. Sometimes you can do that really glistening. I don't want to take, if you put it in the flowers or the edges, you'll take away from the focal point, which is the birds. Am I right? That's what I would do. Okay. Okay. Here's a 40 by 40. I wanted to try one of the rose paintings. And let me see if I can get some of the wrinkles out of it for you. It's all, the wrinkles are all in the cover. They're not in the diamond painting. Um, when they're rolled up like that for a long time, they get creases in the cover. And it's hard for you to see. Hard for me to take the glare off of it that way. Now it took out most of the glare, didn't it? Yep, most of it. All right. Um, they had different color roses on there, just to show you a basic boat. This is the colors for this one, as to be expected. Nothing, um, nothing in here that would surprise me. They're all kitted up in the bags already, which is very nice. All you have to do is put a sticker with the DMC code on there, and you can decide ahead of time whether you want to add some 
flashiness to it. Um, I don't know that I would. If I did, I'd put some bronze metallic in the actual uh, stained glass at the back. And, and I don't know that I would put the bulb. I would make the bulb splashy. I would just make the just maybe a, an outline of the stained glass if I did any at all on this one. I don't know, maybe some uh, fairy dust diamonds for the, in the rose itself to give it a, like a velvety type of feel to it. That would be nice. If you're looking for special diamonds, don't forget there is a code at the bottom of in the description box below for diamond painting with sparklers where you can get a discount through 2023. She was generous enough to give you a discount for being a viewer. Another basic boat. And I'm going to roll it up opposite. And this is a three, a three rose here. It's got more green in the background than the other did. I'll try to iron the plastic flat a little bit. Not reflect too much glare. Don't do that like I did. <laughs> I make mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah. There we go. Alright. So, here's three roses in a... They look like they're in a church window, in a stained glass window-like setting. Uh, I like that. You can, again, the fairy dust diamonds, if they're the, the right colors, I would put it in there. You could even put some in the leaves, in the green of the leaves, to make them feel more velvety. And if you wanted to, you could use a gold or a copper, an old gold, around the stained glass windows to trade them out, some of those out. And here are the colors that go into them. The DMC codes are on the chart, but not on the bags. Okay, so you would have to add that onto this one. All right. And I like to roll it with the picture out, and especially with the thumbnail out, so that I can tell at a glance what it is within the pack. And really, I, I don't, I did at one time separate them. Uh, in the beginning, we were getting, like like two years ago or three years, three years ago, I guess now, we, we'd get these things from the companies and they'd be like, they'd have folds in them. They'd, so back then, I separated all my diamonds from my paintings and made my paintings flat and laid them out because it would take a while to get to them um, because you just needed to lay them, you need to lay them out flat. Uh, and it just wasn't, it wasn't fun, you know, the way you had to pre prepare for things. Now, the way they package them up, it's a lot better. <clears throat> they roll them around the drills, and that keeps them from folding sharp creases into them. And we mostly have the poured glue, which is the clear cover, which you can do, you can unroll and roll it up uh, very easily. And it's not going to give you any folding hassles. Now again, basic boat. And this one has 23 colors. It is a 40, 40, 30 by 40. A rectangle, 30 by 40. All these tropical colors, wow. Beautiful reds and blues and the dusky greens. The greens and the yellows are kind of in the background so that the blues and the reds can pop. It does have a stained glass feel in the back, but I don't, I don't give it a I don't feel it's a stained glass type of painting. And you have some dark colors in here, but look at that teal. 
Look how beautiful that, that teal is on the end there. Yep. The yellows, the browns, the blues, that aqua. Now that's an aqua blue. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Whew, it's going to be pretty. 30 by 40. Snack size. <laughs> Snack size. A lot of the times the budget paintings for me are little snack size type things that um, that I do in between the bigger ones just so that I can feel like I'm accomplishing something quickly. Because <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, I just have, I'll be at this time like 130 and I get all my paintings done. Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we have our live chats, our whipping chats, and our crafty fails, and all kinds of fun things, and lots of discussion. Uh, some inspiration as well. Okay, so here is a butterfly painting. I love, look at the colors in that butterfly painting. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. The symbols are fine. You, the stickiness is fine. You're not going to see much variation in that. They do use a um, about the same thing. The, about the same thing for it. So it's nothing different. You get the, the same boat. Look at the colors in this one. How bright. A blue. There's some purple in there. There's every color of the rainbow in there, isn't there? Every color. It's a purple in here. Every color of the rainbow. And they come up nicely kitted in the bags. There are 23 colors in this one. And it is a 30 by 40. And again, it's got the stained glass look to the background. FG normal. Uh, <clears throat> I would put, definitely get ABs for the butterflies. I would do some of the pops of the orange here. I would even do the black, uh, the 310. Aurora Borealis, the black one, because even if it looks like a peacock color, I think it'll be beautiful in this because they, they reflect the sun. They're not always the same shade, are they? Um, so I would do that. I would put in some definitely around here. I would put maybe the crystals. I would put some crystals in there, in their wings, as well as the ABs, which crystals, sparkler, same difference. Um, I've got a, a lot of spare crystal so that's what I'll be using to fill in but um, just to emphasize some of the colors that are in the actual butterflies themselves beautiful beautiful very pretty now these you can even use as notebook covers if you're doing your junk journaling you can use some of these as covers for your um, your larger junk journals if you'd like I plan on doing some like that. All right, and now I have two special kits for you. I'm gonna bring you down a little bit further so you can see closer up what we're doing. One at a time here. <clears throat> Speaking of crystals, this one's got a lot of crystals in it. This one's got a lot of crystals in it, as you can see. basic boat. Although for crystals and aurora borealis, I use a plastic tip or I use a wax pencil. And I'm getting all kinds of weird light in here, aren't I? Yep. These are for keychains, but I use them for like journal charms and things like that. I can't remember what they are. Oh, they're red, white, and blue butterflies. I haven't seen any American patriotic butterflies. I don't do a whole lot of patriotic stuff. But it is close to the 4th of July when I'm getting these. And I do like a good butterfly. They're very pretty. They're double-sided. <coughs> they are double-sided, so you will... Nice, nice and big. These will be beautiful. Uh, you can hang them from suction cups on your window. They don't have to be 
keychains necessarily. I'm going to put some of these in my junk journals, either on the cover or on a charm. They're more likely covers. Let's see. I had never seen any, and I, I don't do too much red, white, and blue, but my father was in the Navy. My husband was in the Air, Air Force. Um, my father-in-law was in the Army. I have friends who was in the Marines. Another friend who's in the National Guard. <laughs> so, um, I do respect the military and armed forces, and I do respect what they have tried to do over the years, especially in our revolutionary times to fight for independence. So, and that's what our July 4th is all about. Okay, so these are the drills I'm going to show you. These are marquee, blue marquee. We have purple teardrop, tiny purple teardrops, red teardrops. We have the multicolored marquee. Marquee just means a point at both sides. We have a white pearl teardrop. A blue iridescent teardrop. We have the light blue crystals. A teal crystal. A green crystal. Darker blue crystal. Even darker blue crystal. A little bit of a purple crystal. A clear, uh, clear, like 5200 type of crystal, bright red, like a 666 red crystal, um, a royal blue crystal, and a like a yellow gold crystal. So that's what you will be using to create these butterflies. And now I'll show you the next one. Oops, were they all in the same thing here? I don't know. They don't need to be in that big pack when it can be in the little one. Now I will write FG normal across the across the paper here just to be sure that I remember. And this is the other kit that I got. <clears throat> and these you can blow through in a night or two basic kit yet again. You get your your ball chain and your hook. These are roosters. <laughs> Thought of I'm doing country stuff. I might as well do some roosters too. They are double sided and they are different from each other. They're not all the same. Okay. That one has a purple breast. This blue feathers. They all seem to have a red or pink coxcomb at the top and some gold feet, but the rest of the feathers and maybe a white capelet. But this has pink in the back, pink and blue. Ooh, look at the teal, the fancy one on that one. Wow. And fancy schmancy. Wow. Wow, wow. This one has a yellow cape to it. Very nice. Now let's take a look at the drills for these fancy chickens. These fancy schmancy chickens. Show you the backs because it doesn't have any other kind of code on them to use. So you have some iridescent marquee, some like a, a flat yellow, a lemon yellow, not a lemon yellow, like a, a butter yellow, light gold, purple teardrop, a gold teardrop, uh, like an orangey brown crystal dark brown crystal, teal, 
or aqua, whatever you prefer to call it. <laughs> Purple. Um, I think this is a dark blue. I don't think it's a black. I think it's a dark blue crystal. And you have another orange. You have a yellow, a lighter yellow. It's more like brown, maybe. I don't know. And uh, the clear. You have a red, a dark red, and a lighter red. And you have a black. It might even be a slightly different size. And a, like a reddish purple. Nice. Very nice. So that's my haul from FG Normal, a budget-friendly company. I will give you a link to the company in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Have you done keychains before? Have you done things from FG Normal? What are your impressions of the company? I have done them before and I trust them and that's why uh, I have ordered from them once again. All right, that's why I, you know, I would reorder from places that I trust. All right, just wanted to give you an update on the FG Normal things that I finished out of that kit. I got the the uh, Ocean Waves Coasters kit finished. Let me bring you in a bit for these. I'm going to uh, polyurethane them. I'm going to dip them in polycrylic before uh, I put the the coaster to actual coaster together on it. But I wanted to give you an idea of what they look like, all shiny and bright and new. Come on now, get in there. Isn't that pretty? With the colors jumping up like that. I'm not sure if I have them all uh, set the right way. This looks like it's dolphins jumping in and out of the waves. It's got a beautiful, like, um, wind over the wave. Really raucous wave. This is like a beach. I guess it would go this way, wouldn't it? <laughs> like a sunset. And the beach, and there's some birds in the background. And let me see, that would be the wave coming up here. Why the pink, I'm not sure, but the waves are coming over like a reflection of the sky in the background. And this is all Tempest. I think it's pretty. I think it'll go pretty in my mom's uh, beach house. And that's where they are headed when I'm finished. Next, I have two sets of keychains that I finished. And in honor of July, now I didn't put the keychain part on them. I'm going to use these to hook junk journal charms to junk journals. So that is different. But what I did was I put the ball chain on them in order to dip them and hang them. So these are the patriotic butterflies that I wanted to show you out of the kit. Here we go. They remit, they're double sided. They remain sticky. The parts that do not have the, um, that do not have the drills on them really remain sticky. So that's a problem for me. But when I dip them in the Minwax, that will, that will go away. The Minwax will take care of that for me. They're very pretty. They're red, white, and blue butterflies. That one seems like it's small and it's in the midst of fireworks. It's kind of pretty. I don't do too many red, white, and blue things. I am uh, patriotic. My family served in the military in various forms and functions over the years. So here are here was something I didn't see on anybody's site before. There are roosters. These will make fun junk journal charms, I, th I think. They will be fun finished. And again, it, it's sticky. Uh, that needs to be polycrylic off. But look at the colors in the plumes on these guys. And these proud. Proud as a peacock. Roosters. There we go. And uh, 
there you go there you go there's my three sets from FG normal two sets of keychains and one set of coasters that I've gotten finished in July and don't forget to join us for my favorite things 2023 if you remember um, the my favorite things song from sound of music remember our challenge is through the month of august 2023 <clears throat> zara uh the west aussie diamond painter will be joining me we'll be doing it uh hosting the pictures on wanted to work basket facebook and tuesday nights on our lives on 9 p.m eastern standard time on tuesday nights we will be giving away odds and ends uh, creative ons and ends, some cover minders, some other different things to make <clears throat> your crafting easier, and maybe just some fun and funky things as well. Stickers, the whole gamut. Since our favorite things is not just diamond painting, it's all about whatever your favorite things is. If you're going to do a diamond painting, that's fine. We just want it to be uh, centered around your favorite things. You could do ceramics, you could do coloring, you could do lots of different any kind of crafts junk journaling whatever you'd like just so it's centered around your favorite thing we'd love to know what your favorite thing is we want it to be a restful and relaxed august we don't want to do a, a big production so all we're asking is that somewhere between the first and the fifth of august that you put your first post your first picture to uh, Wanda's Work Basket Facebook page so we can enter you and sometime during the month toward the end of the month sometime before the 31st pick, put a progress picture up we don't want to tell you exactly how much to do or that kind of thing uh, we'd love to see progress on your favorite thing we'd love to see you have time to work on what gives you joy and that should be part of the vacation attitude of August whether it is in the U UK whether it is the the mild and or hot weather of the United States or whether it's the cold wintry weather of Australia across the world doesn't matter we want you to have time to do some of your favorite things okay and we will have two Saturday lives with guests on the first Saturday of August and the last Saturday of August at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is in Australia, it's close to 9 p.m. Um, exactly where Zara is, it's exactly 12 hours, 9 p.m. In the UK, it'll be the middle of the afternoon. We want as many people to join us for those as possible. Also, for the last one of the month that we are going to be giving away an Amazon gift certificate to anyone in the world. You don't have to be in the United States to win that. And the only thing we ask you to do is to write me at wandasworkbasket at gmail.com and I will send you the questionnaire form so that I have your information in case you win something. I'll have your address and your, your email address and all that kind of good stuff to make sure you are a real person. And then I know what craft you're working on. It doesn't have to be diamond painting. It can be whatever craft you want. I know the first couple questions are related to diamond painting, but you can skip ahead and, and get to the craftiness at the bottom. We want to know what, what your um, what your favorite craft is, what your favorite things are. So I'll need you to uh, send me that form back. Your information goes nowhere but deep in the bowels of my computer and never to be released. Uh, it won't get sold or given to anyone anywhere. And the only thing is that I, I put you on my email list, which is like once or twice a year <laughs> at the most. Um, I hope to be ramping that up a little bit but anyway uh, in case you're interested but you can unsubscribe from that anytime you want not a problem all right i hope you will join us for one of our creative endeavors and thank you for checking out fg normal projects here on my youtube channel see you divas bye